what's up guys Hayden here bringing you another tutorial and this tutorial will be on uh, how to use ReaperX now this is a very useful plugin it's a free plugin uh, so there will be a download for this plugin in the description down below so if you want to download it you can now you can use this plugin for Motex or you could do, use it on logos and there's lots of very like variations you can do with this plugin Wow cinema is how did it not respond cuz I added that what hold on okay there so I'm just gonna so first off once you have reprex installed and working and all that cool stuff I'm gonna show you two ways you can use reprex so two ways as in ones with logo and one is with uh, motex now to start off I'm gonna use my logo and what you want to do is which is different because right now you think oh you just drag this in but no that's not the case what you want to do is you want to click this little plus here which opens it up and then you're gonna see this blue path here and you just want to drag that out but because it's part of that I just want to duplicate this and then open that up you always want to duplicate whatever you want to put the uh, Reaper X on you can just delete that so now you have this blue path and then this Reaper X so what you want to do is you want to take your blue path and then you just want to put that in the Reprex. Now, as you can see here, it's going to make this rope effect, which means this plugin, if you ever need ropes, you can use this. So, but we're not, we obviously don't want ropes. So, what you want to do is, depending, this is all like your opinion on what you want to use. I like to have strands on one most of the time and then turn the radius down which will make it thinner or thicker really it's all up to you and then put distance now I'm gonna show you something cool if um, if you want like this kind of cool look and if you don't want to use Adam array you could turn this distance down to one which will make an out like a an outline which is very useful I used to do it but I, ju I just prefer Adam array over that so I'm actually gonna keep turn the distance up to 20 maybe yeah 20 will work so you get this cool little like curvy look it's very nice you can do a lot of things with this and that's that part uh, strands if you turn that up that means there's gonna be more ro ropes coils is like how like here I'll show you so if I put coils to one it's gonna be all like this but if I turn it up to like 20 it's like gonna it's gonna look good it's like just mess with that a little bit to your liking and then I'm gonna show you another thing, you, a cool thing you could do with this. So, what you want to do is you want to middle, like the middle button on your mouse. So then this will pop up. And over here is perspective, down here is right, and then here is front. As you can see from these corners. Uh, what we want to use is this top. So how to go full screen on this part is just middle cloud, like put your mouse over this screen, and then just middle mouse, like the middle button, like that. So now you're on the uh, the top, and now what you want to do is by the blue square and the green square, you you'll see like this curvy orange line looking thing. You want to get the free hand, and then you just want to make some lines here. So I'm just gonna do this, maybe like this. It's really up to you, depending on your logo or my text or whatever. I'm just gonna do that. So then middle cloud, middle mouse again, and then go to perspective, so it goes to originally what it was. And you're gonna notice these black lines up here. Now what you wanna do is for Reprex, you wanna count how many ever splines you have, which in my case, I have five. So I wanna get five Reaper X, um, like rope things here. So I'm just gonna get five of them because that's how many paths I have. And I'm just gonna drag all of these into the um, Reprex, so then it makes them all have this rope look. Um, I used this plugin before on the Tentacle tutorial. You could go check that out if you want. And so I'm going to select all of these by selecting the bottom or the top one, holding Shift, and then like this. So now they're all selected. And as you can see, this the axis is down here, which can actually make it really difficult to actually do things with this. So what you want to do is this um, here check this like click it so it's blue and then just drag this up so then this make allows you to move the axis to your liking 
without moving the object. So now, once you have it where you would like it, just deselect it so now when I move it, it's not all hard to use. Now obviously, this does not look good at all, so we want to turn the radius down to about three, uh, about three, that'll work. And turn the distance down to like one, or yeah, one will work. Turn strands to one. Actually, make distance a little high. I mean, it's really all up to you. Um, I might have it on uh, three coils. It's really up to you. Kind of, it's like a, it's how like curvy it is. Like rotated. Like if you look, you'll see like the little waves in it. But the lower it is, the less wavy it is. So make that turn distance up a little more. Uh, maybe down a little bit. And now we're just gonna kind of select each one, bring it down, and then make it look nice by rotating it, doing cool little things with it. So I'm just gonna rotate it like this, maybe pop out like that. All right there. I mean, this works best with Motex, but I mean, depending on your logo, it um it varies. It doesn't look that good on my logo, but it could look good on your logo. So basically, that's all you got to do. Just make it look nice. You can mess with it, stuff like that. Make it pop out. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you with Reaper X is um Motex. So I'm gonna get some Motex by going in MoGraph, getting Motex. And here's some text. Now this obviously does not look that good, so I'm gonna show you cool little things that will make your text look a lot nicer. First off, you wanna make name it to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna name it Zebs. So have Zebs. And then next I'm going to change the font to Typograph Pro. This is pretty much the font I use for 80% of my stuff. It's a really nice font with like here. I'll show you actually. So typographic font, extra bold looks very nice, very nice font. But there's also tons of others like uh, light. If you want like a lighter look, there's semi bold. I mean, it's really all up to you. I like extra bold. That one looks nice. And I'm just gonna turn the depth up to about 45. This is a good depth. And now, as you can see, the edges are really sharp and it doesn't look that good. So you want to go to caps, go put these to fillet caps. And now you just want to put all these to two. Now this will make a nice curve on the uh, the Motex. It looks really nice now. And I'm gonna shrink this a little because it's a little big. So you want to go to height. Uh, height makes it like how big or how small you want it. So if you didn't know that, now you do. So I'm just this will work. And I'm gonna bring it back. The logo is facing like the the correct lighting. So I'm just gonna use the logo. As like a little thing to get the the text in a right position so like about right there so that'll work drag that up and I'm just gonna delete this because I don't need it anymore so you have your mo text here and now what you want to do is you want to duplicate it obviously and now um, you want to click C on your keyboard which will break it up so now you can like work on things individually so now open up these pluses and you're going to notice all of these so you just want to open all those up so you have all these blue paths and you just want to drag it control drag it outside and then delete this now with this you're going to notice you're going to have all these paths here it's the same concept you just want to get your uh, reprex in this case i have four so four reprex um objects and i'm just going to drag that in here so now it's making a nice like rope of look, but we obviously don't want that. So I'm just gonna change the strands to one. Like I said, it's all up to you on how you want this to look. I'm gonna change distance to a little lower, and then make coils lower, about right there, and then like that like that. Now that's a cool little thing you can do if you want. Uh, I, I do it sometimes, not really that much. And then there's, um, you can make radius higher or lower. Um, I like to have it on three for my Motex and I'm just gonna kinda make it look like this, kinda randomized 
and I'm just gonna kind of make it fit in here a little bit better so like that 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 looks good and you could do um, duplicate these again and make the distance like two maybe Maybe make the strands up. I mean, it's really all up to you. I'm just showing you a couple of the things you could do with it. Uh, like this, or you could just do the same thing, like go in here, go freehand, draw a couple of these, and then um, <clears throat> get the plug in, and then just, you know, it's really all up to you. There's lots of things you could do with this plugin. I'm just showing you a couple of the things I like to do. You could experiment with this as well if you want to find some new things maybe. I mean, this is a very big plugin. You could do a lot of cool things with this. Um, turn the distance down to like that. Change coils down. I mean, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Um, make sure to follow us on our social media sites such as Twitter and Instagram. Um, expect a speed art tomorrow from me. It's a very nice speed art. I worked very hard on it. So I hope you look forward to that. And peace, guys.